Hello and good day, Algebra. We are going over CO17, uh, which is using relations to determine if an equation is a function. Okay, now this is prepping for what's coming next. Uh, PO18, we talk about something called function notation. Um, but first, we have to figure out what a function is before we can notate functions. And so a function, ooh, not that one. A function uh, is a relation for which every x value has exactly one y value. A relation, which of course is a collection of order pairs, could be an xy table, could be a graph, whatever, but it's a relation for which every x value has exactly one y value. Okay. Let's go on straight to the examples. It might be easier to just kind of see it in action to know exactly what that statement means there. Take a look at these two relations that I've labeled as functions, and these two relations I've labeled not as functions, and tell me what you notice about them. Thinking about that, that statement, a relation for which every x value is exactly one y value, what are you noticing about the two relations that are functions versus the two that are not functions? Chase. Does the not functions have two of the same x values with different y values? Okay, so looking at the two that are not functions here, Chase is noticing that this x value of negative two, it repeats itself, right? <clears throat> which goes against our definition, because our definition for a function is every x value is exactly one y value. This x value of negative two actually has two y values that are associated with it, seven and 10, okay? And this other one that's not a function here, we see x repeats itself three times, and for each one, there's a different y value that's associated with it, one and six, 1 and 10, 1 and negative 9. That's what makes those relations not function. The fact that x repeats itself with a different y value. Notice in the two that are functions, all of our x values are different. 2, 5, 8, 4. Nothing repeats. The second one, they're also different. 1, 8, 9, 12. Nothing repeats. It doesn't matter that y repeats here. Okay, because by definition, it's for every x value has exactly one y, eight, nine might have the same y value, but they're different x's. And the way that I can relate this is by birthdays. Can two different people, say person eight and person nine, can they share a birthday? Yeah. Yeah. Of course they can. You only have 360, well, six days to pick from, right? seven billion people in the world, there will be people that share a birthday, okay? However, it can't go the other way. One person can't have a birthday on two different days. Negative two can't have a birthday on both seven and 10. It doesn't work like that, right? Okay, you probably did talk about this last year, yeah. So the key to determining a, a function is looking at those x values and asking yourself, does x repeat itself? If it does, it is not a function. If all x's are different, then it is a function. Nick? Mm, no, we did not. We did not. Okay. Question so far. That's basically the, that's basically the lesson. That's basically all I have to, have, have to teach you. Um, looking at uh, these examples here, these first four xy tables, Is the first one a function? Yes. Yes. Why is it a function? Because Jocelyn. Because there's like no um, the same number on the first one that has a different. Right. Because x does not repeat. Okay, we don't care about the y. Y can do whatever it wants. We're looking at the x's. The x's do not repeat. Negative 1, 0, 1, 5, they're all different. Therefore, it is a function. Okay. The second one. Definitely not. This person wants four birthdays in a year? I don't think so. Jeff can't keep up with that. Not a function. OK? 
Okay? And again, the reason why is because all these x's repeat. If there's any repetition with the x values, it is not a function. So then the question becomes, okay, we, 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 we know that, rat that relations can be graphs also. How can we tell if x repeats itself when looking at a graph? Not quite as easy as an xy table, but how can we tell? Andrea. Okay, if x repeats itself, this is what it looks like. I'm going to go to the second one here. Let's take the x value of 4. It's kind of hard to see on your uh, page there, but um, that would be the x value of 4 right there. Actually, I'm not going to put a dot. I'm going to circle it because I don't want to get confused with an order pair. At x equals 4, what is y? At x equals 4, what is value for y, Chase? Okay, so at x is 4, we can go up to an ordered pair that's on the graph, looks somewhere between 2 and 4, so probably 3, right? Doesn't really make a difference, but it's there. But Chase also said we can go negative here, and we can go down, hit the graph again, and there's another y value when x is 4. Written as ordered pairs, this top ordered pair might be 4, 3, this bottom order pair might be 4, negative 2. It doesn't really matter. The point is we've got two values for y when x is 4. Andrea mentioned the vertical line test. When we do this, look what we just kind of created, a vertical line that hits the graph in two different places. That's how you know it is not a function. That's how you know that x repeats itself. If you can draw a vertical line, through a graph, it's called the VLT. I kind of cut it off up, up above there. But the VL, VLT says that if you can put a vertical line through the graph and it touches it in more than one spot, like it does here, boom, boom, it is not a function. It means that X repeats itself. And we can see that because we drew that out there. We wrote that out there. Tristan. So with that logic, the rest will be functions? So with that logic, the rest will be functions? Yep. Yeah. Okay, I cannot put a vertical line through this graph and have it touch in more than one spot. Only touches it once. This one, I mean to change this every single year because it looks like it goes vertical. It actually isn't. It is expanding outward, but uh, it's a poorly, I, I should have picked a different graph. But anyway, I, I can't put a vertical line through and hit it in more than one spot. Okay, that's the VLT. Then... The ordered pairs of a function are 4, 3, negative 2, 1, 3, 6, 0, negative 5. What is an ordered pair that could be added to make the relation not a function? What is an ordered pair that could be added to make the relation not a function? I would like you to take the next five minutes to finish the page. If you all finish it, we'll play the number game. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's how you math. 